Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Tom from Gaming Entertainers, GamingEntertainers.com and Twitter.com forward slash Tom from YT13. Today, I'll be reviewing one of my favorite media streaming hubs, the Apple TV. Let's start the review. Hey guys, first we'll be starting with a quick hardware review, then we'll go to the OS. So this is the look of the Apple TV. As you can tell, it looks kind of like a Mac Mini, if you know what one of those looks like. The top has the Apple logo, Apple TV, with this plastic on the top in gray. And then here you have brush aluminum. You've got your sensor right here and a little indicator light for when it's on, standby, all of that. And then you've got that all around. Now the back ports, you have your power, USB, which has no use for it yet. This may be... Apple claims that it's basically just so they can, if they need to go do some hardware fixes or software fixes, they can do that with that USB. So it's not really a use. USB, if you, I mean Ethernet, if you want to connect through Ethernet to get your music and videos and stuff through there. HDMI, and your video and audio cables, and right here you have optical audio. So those are all the ports on the back, and down here you have rubber. It's got the Apple logo in there. I don't know how well you can see that. But yeah, this is all rubber so that if it's on the table and you don't want it to move, it won't move. So let's get into the OS overview. So now we'll be going over the OS. Due to copyright issues, I will not be able to show you any videos or any music, so when we do get to the music section, I will have to mute my volume and we'll figure out something. So let's get started. So here's your look when you first start it up. Up here, you have your top movies. This shows basically all the top movies as of right now. And it's got a lot, so very cool. This is how I usually rent my movies on here. I usually find one from the top movies. That seems pretty good. Now, you can go to my movies, which I don't have any, but you'll see a list of movies there if you do have one. You can go to top movies, which is a very good section. Basically, you can look at top rentals, top sales, new new and noteworthy. It's kind of new. They kind of change it up every while. Top HD movies. Um, I don't know, Renta Revenge, something. Women directing movies, I guess movies that women have directed. Best actor. It goes, it changes all the time, but yeah. So, here, let's say Couples Retreat. Let's let that focus. I will not be able to show you a trailer, but you can watch a trailer. You can rent it. You can rent it in HD, buy, or there's more info. And that's about it for the top movies section. I see you have genres. You can search by genres. You can search by all HD. Just search in general and look at old trailers. You can look at TV shows, my TV shows, top TV shows, genres, basically all the same thing. You can look by those, and you got some top TV shows up here. I do like this new OS. They updated it. I don't know when it updated, but no, the first one wasn't that great. This is a really good setup they have here. Here you have your music. You can go by my music, top music, music videos, genres, and search. Now, let's go here. You can go into your music. You can search by whatever you want. Keep in mind, a lot of this is my sister's music, so yeah. So you got all your music here, and I'm not going to be able to play anything for you guys, so sorry, but it does show a album cover when you are on one, so yeah. And it shows, you know, you can pause it and all that stuff with the Apple remote, which I forgot to show you, but it doesn't, it comes with Max, so there's really no reason to show you the overview of that since it's not anything exclusive to the Apple TV. And you can look at all your recent music that you've listened to, and top songs, you can buy, buy songs on here. Podcasts, which is a thing that I've been using lately. You can go by my podcast, favorites, top podcasts, genres, providers, and search. I have, let me actually, I don't, I have, I don't know what those are, some weird podcasts on my iTunes, but I favorite Dignation, I like that show. Or that podcast, really cool. And I watch it in HD, very nice, very cool. And I am favorited, I don't, I favorited to that, so, yeah. Next is photos, don't have any photos, but it basically, you can go through a slideshow, 
But you can also use Mobile Me to look at pictures. If you have Mobile Me, you can use that to view pictures. You can also look at your Flickr account. If you have one of those, you can look at pictures in your Flickr account. You can look at YouTube or listen to the radio, so that's cool if you want to watch YouTube videos. Quality's not that great if you have a big TV. It's kind of pixelated because YouTube videos weren't made for the Apple TV. So here you have your settings. You've got your general settings. You've got your network, iTunes Store, parental controls, remotes, update software, language, reset settings, all kinds of stuff there. You can set your screensaver, so if you have any pictures you want, set a screensaver. More settings, you can set up computers, look at downloads, and a new thing since this update, I don't know when this update came out, but yeah, you can put this into standby. Before, I don't know how it works since I just got my Apple TV recently, but yeah, you can put it into standby, and to wake it up, you either you just click one of these buttons and it'll turn, it'll turn back on. Well, that's at least what I do. So that's basically it for the overview. I can't really show you any videos because it's copyright, but you get the point. Once you're in the video, the video player is really simple. It just shows you how far you are. You can pause, fast forward, rewind, volume up and down. And to go back, you hit menu. I didn't actually show that. Let me show an example. Okay, so go back to the main menu. You just hit the menu button. It's basically your back button for everything on this. That's also how you can leave a movie if you're done. So... This was the complete hardware overview. Well, not hardware, but operating system. So, let me give you my impressions. Now that you've seen my hardware overview and operating system overview, I'm going to give you my thoughts. The Apple TV is a great device. That's what I had to say off first. It's a great media streaming device, and if you have lots of music on iTunes, lots of videos, and you like to rent movies on iTunes, there's no doubt in my mind that you're going to like this device. It's a great device. But if you don't really watch movies or do any of that stuff, or you're not a huge person with iTunes music and stuff, it's not going to be anything you're going to want. Now, this may actually be, I can't actually tell you that's true or not, because I used to not listen to music that much on iTunes, or I never really rented movies at all. Ever since I got this, I've been renting movies on iTunes, and it's been a great experience. I love the Apple TV. Plus, I was tweeting about this yesterday, my, one of my favorite podcasts is Dignation, if you don't know what it is. And I've been watching Dignation on this Apple TV. It's amazing. HD, instead of watching it on their actual web page, on my 20-inch screen, I can watch it on an HD TV. So, I love it. It's really cool. And I love listening to music on my TV while I'm, like, typing an article on my computer or writing something or just surfing around. I like to listen to music. And it's nice to have it playing in the background on my TV. It's just kind of nice. Operating system, a lot better than I thought, because the, old, the first operating system they had, the first design, was kind of bad. I love the new design of the Apple TV. Since they did the software update, it's look, it looks great. Very clean and simple OS. You won't get confused about what you're doing. Everything's very easy. Very great device. When you first get it, syncing music is very easy. It's just basically like an iPod. When you open up iTunes on your computer, it shows up as an iPod under devices. Well, not it doesn't say it's an iPod, it says it's an Apple TV. You, you can sync it the same way you want. Select what you want to sync and everything, or it'll sync all, whatever you want. So, I love the thing. It's really cool, and it's very portable, actually. I was going to get to that next. It's a really portable device, and it's really easy to take it places. I've been carrying it downstairs to my basement, because we have a bigger HD TV down there. I've been, you know, carrying it around, and it's not a hassle to carry it. There's only two cables. I need the HDMI cable and the power cable, that's all. And it's really light, it's a really small device. So if you want to take it to a friend's house, no problem. It's not, it's not that big. And it got a 120 gig hard drive, I think. That should be, correct me if I'm wrong. 120 gig hard drive. And so a lot of space, more than I need. Um, yeah, so great device. It's a lot better than going to Blockbuster and renting a movie or something. Comparing it to other media streaming devices like the Voodoo and other stuff, I think it's better. I have used other devices like the Voodoo, and the iTunes Store is just so great. That's the reason why it's such a great device. The iTunes Store is really good. Now to my one complaint about the Apple TV. It heats up a lot. If you watch maybe one podcast or something short, like 30-minute video, it's going to be hot. 
Even if you're not even using it, actually. If it's in standby, it's still hot. There's no internal fans in it, but, I mean, being hot's a problem, but not for the Apple TV. I just don't like it being hot. It feels, it's kind of weird, but it doesn't matter if it's hot because Apple built in all the internal of it are very, that came out wrong, all the internals of the Apple TV are very well against heat. They made it so that they can survive heat very well. They can go up to very high temperatures without burning, so you're not going to worry. If it's literally touching you and it burns, there's something wrong, but it's it gets hot, but not that hot. So it's, it's fine. So that's the cool thing they did. The Apple TV is a great device. I mean, that's really all I have to say about it. Great for movie watching, great for all kinds of stuff. So if you are a big person with your iTunes, you've got lots of music, lots of videos, go pick up an Apple TV. Even buy it used. You can buy refurbished ones on apple.com. Search refurbished Apple refurbished website on Google and you'll find some information on it probably. You can get them used for pretty good prices. So $230, I think it's a little high. That's how much it costs. A um, little pricey. I would, if it was maybe like two, not 200, like 150, maybe 170. Good price. That would be keeper. Definitely buy it then. But if you don't have the 230, then don't get it. Don't save up. It's really not something you have to have. I enjoy having it, and I really love it, and I'm happy that I bought it, but it's not for everyone. So, so far, I give it a 9 out of 10. That's that's what I give it. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the review and overview. Remember to follow me on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash Tom from YQ13, and visit my news website, gamingentertainers.com. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Peace.